What is going on everybody? Today in this video we're going to talk about how to set up your Cronus Zen Link with the PlayStation 5 so you don't have to do the button spam bypass step anymore, right? So the first thing you're going to have to do is go ahead and download the brand new Cronus Zen Studios application. To do that, simply go ahead and type in on Chrome, Cronus Zen Download. Once you guys see this link, go ahead and right click on it. You're going to click on download right over here and you want to download the latest brand new build which is going to be 82. So I'm going to get rid of the face cam for a second. Soon as you right click on this, it's just going to go up into your downloads tab, right? What I always like to do is just drag it out to my desktop to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my file explorer, which is down here. Click on downloads over here and you will see the Zen studios right here, right? Once you guys see it, just right click, drag and drop onto your desktop. You guys can see mine's right over here, right? So once it's downloaded here, you just right click on it, hit next, hit I agree, and then make sure you go ahead and install it, all right? Once you install it and you go ahead and press install, again, you're going to see two applications pop up. First is going to be the Zen Studios and then also the Zen Link Configurator, right? What I recommend you do first is now go ahead and pick up your Zen Link, okay? Next, there's a little, if you flip over the Zen Link, again, I always like to do a hard reset before I set it up. There's a little hole right over here, pretty much like a safety pin or a bobby pin is going to fit in here and there's a button, okay? So you have to make sure you're pressing this button down. And as you're pressing that button down here, you're gonna plug it in and give the Zenling power, all right? And then again, you have to keep that button held for about three to five seconds. So I'm gonna show you guys what all this looks like, all right? Let me go ahead and grab my Zenling cable, right? So again, the other end of this USB-C cable is gonna go into your laptop or your PC, whatever you're using to run the Zenling configurator, right? So all I'm gonna do is grab this cable right up here, and I'm gonna look like I'm about to give it power, but again, make sure you've got your safety pin right here and make sure it's at the back, okay? Make sure you're pressing down that button. So I'm gonna make sure I'm doing it right now. Let me go ahead and grab a good hold of this thing. It's so hard to do this, dude. I don't know why they made it so small, but they did. So let me go ahead and grab a hold of this thing. Gosh, this thing is literally a nightmare, guys. Let's see if I can do it this way. So there we go. I got a hold of this button, do I? Yep. And then again, just go ahead and give the Zen Link power and keep that safety pin held until on the Zen Link right over here, you're going to start seeing it flash colors, right? Wait till it starts flashing red. So just keep that button held. You can see once it starts flashing red, you can let go. And now what you need to do next is go ahead and open up the Zen Link configurator app, all right? Once it loads in, you want to go ahead and hit native PS5 right over. I know everyone's looking for the newest Cronus Zen scripts that's going to help them control recoil and get extra aim assist on all their games. Well, I got you guys covered. Go ahead and click on the first link in the description. That's going to go ahead and bring you guys over onto our Podia page. And yes, I'm crazy enough to leave my personal phone number and my email here. So as I'm explaining any one of these tiers, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a text message or simply go ahead and email me, all right? And again, we do have a refund policy. So if you purchase anything on the site, you try the scripts, you don't like it within three days, I'll give you your money back because I know you guys will all love the scripts, all right? So let me go ahead and break down each one of these tiers. Again, they are monthly memberships, but again, you guys can cancel any single time. And we do also have a brand new option to buy all the scripts for a one-time purchase. On the Selfie, that's going to be the second link in the description for the $75 tier. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, right? But first tier is going to be our ultimate aim assist tier. And the reason this is first, it's because it's our most popular tier, right? We currently have over 1,500 active members in that tier. And that just gives you guys access to everything in the Extreme Scripts products tab, which is going to be all of the Extreme Scripts aka all our newest scripts, right? And then also in that $30 tier, it gives you access to my exact aim assist values for each of those scripts. So you can just plug and play and you're ready to go, all right? Next again is obviously the extreme scripts here. That's just, again, only gonna give you access to all the scripts, not the aim assist values, but you guys can watch the YouTube videos and figure those out. Next is gonna be the custom scripts tier, right? This is where we use your exact in-game settings and your weapons, all that stuff to make you a customized script so you don't have to adjust anything. And then if you're brand new to the Cronus, then I highly recommend you get the legendary tier. So this is where we get on a one-on-one -on -one call. Make sure your Cronus then set up correctly. I know a lot of you guys are brand new, so you don't struggle. This is the tier I would recommend. And then finally, the Panda Elite. Again, this is a one-time purchase per year, and it gives you guys access to all of the tiers in here. So again, a one-on-one -on -one call with me throughout the year. If you have any setup help and all that stuff, we get you guys covered. And then again, like I mentioned, I know a lot of you guys don't like the membership options. 
that's fine. We also went ahead and opened the cell file. So if you just want all the X scripts that are in the Extreme Scripts products tab right here, you can also go ahead and just get that for a one-time purchase. That's going to be in the $75 tier, right? And I know a lot of you guys ask, Panda, is that one also updated? Yes, indeed, I do update it. But I do go ahead and give all the early accesses to my Podia members that are on the monthly membership, right? And again, if you want to try some of the older scripts, you guys can do that on the $10 a month tier. But man, a huge shout out to all our members that are on the Podia. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's get back to the video over here. Have it read your Windows settings, like your PC. Make sure it reads your Wi-Fi and all that stuff. So just hit read from Windows and then hit save and continue and let it do its update, okay? You only need to do this one time once you get the brand new Zen link. Once that's done, I'll show you guys how to set it up with our PlayStation 5 and the Cronus Zen, all right? So again, just let us do its update. It might take a little bit, so I'm not going to skip any of this. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to download, do all the updating, right? So you guys can see everything's going through. There we go. Bang. Once it says complete, just hit close application here. All right. Then we can go and unplug the Zen link. All right. Next step is going to be to turn on your PS5. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on wirelessly because, again, I do have my PlayStation 5. You guys can see over there. And I'm just going to, you want to just go ahead and turn on your PS5. Leave the Zen link and the Cronus Zen to the side at this point. You can see my PS5 is going to go ahead and power on. Let me go ahead and grab my Zen so I can show you guys. There we go. You guys can see my Cronus Zen's right here. Again, nothing plugged, right? It's just right over here to the side as well. And next thing you want to do is go click on your profile. And we're going to have to turn off our Bluetooth, all right? So I'm going to get rid of the face cam. You want to go up into the settings tab here and you have to disable the, your Bluetooth, all right? However, you can still use your controller wirelessly with the Zen Link, which is the best part. So you're gonna go to accessories here. You're gonna go down here where it says advanced settings, right? You guys can see that. And then all you want to do is hit on turn off Bluetooth, okay? So you guys can see I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth off and you can tell it's not gonna let me turn it off right now, right? Because you need to be wired to your PS5. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wire, plug my controller in, and I'm going to go ahead now and hit turn off Bluetooth, right? There we go. Now it's going to let me turn off my Bluetooth. So while it does indeed restart, now you can just go ahead and unplug your controller. Next step is going to be wiring up the Zen link with your Cronus Zen. So again, use a wire on this left-hand side of the Zen. You guys can see normal USB in there. The other USB-C end is just going to go ahead and plug straight into your Zen link, right? And you guys remember that red cable that I was using? For my PS5, now just goes at the top of the Cronus Zen, right? So you can see everything's plugged in. So you just go ahead and now give the Zen power from the top, just like that. And you can see my Zen link's gonna come on. You wanna wait till it turns like a teal blue color. So just give it a second. It's gonna power on. You guys can see. There you go. Once it turns that little blue color, that's when you know it is indeed working. So once you see this, next step, what you wanna do is go ahead and wirelessly pair your controller. You can either use it wired or wireless. I like to go wireless. If you were gonna use the controller wired, just simply plug in your controller on this bottom slot, all right? And then just use it wired like you would. I'm gonna go wireless. So to do that, you have to put your controller into pairing mode first. So hold the share and the PS button. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep holding these down until the lights on my OEDs start flashing blue. Then I pick up my Cronus Zen and simply go ahead and press this left side big blue button on the Zen. You guys can see it right here. Just press that one one time and you guys will see everything connects. And now look at this. I can use it and you don't need to do the bind spam bypass. You can just use your scripts and now you can use it wirelessly. It's that simple. So hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you on the next one. Peace.